Right, well here it is, the uh, iPad Air with the M2 chip, uh, which is the 2024 version of the iPad Air. Uh, this is the blue one, um, kind of a silvery blue. It also comes in purple and your usual space grey and starlight, which is kind of not gold, not silver, halfway in between. Um, so very nice, very slim. Uh, but really the major sort of hardware update that you'll notice on this uh, If I can show you you probably won't be able to tell but I'll hold it up to the camera anyway and see if you can see it is No, probably can't see it. They've moved the um, front-facing camera around to the landscape side uh, Which is great because um, yeah, although um, you know they, they do have a software trick that keeps you in the in the middle of the uh, shot when you're on video calls or um, recording um, it was always a bit weird having to look to the side of the screen to make sure that you're looking at the person that you're talking to and now it's much more natural um, having that because most people I think are using the iPad that way around not that way around these days um, so uh, yep that's a, that's a great improvement uh, oh and the other big improvement of course is that this is the 11 inch model and uh, we also have a 13 inch uh, model, actually this is an iPad Pro if I'm going to be perfectly honest a sneak peek next week's review uh, yeah they haven't sent me uh, an iPad Air with, uh, in the 13 inch model but this gives you an idea of the size difference between the two devices so if it's more screen real estate you're looking for you'll want to go um, 13 inches um, but uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much the same, except apparently the, the bass um, sounds a little bit better um, from the sound. You still get um, great stereo sound from the stereo speakers either side uh, of, of this device, of course. Um, but yeah, a lot of the other uh, updates are under the hood uh, to do with connectivity, uh, things like uh, you, um, great 5G connectivity. Uh, you won't, this is a cellular version, but you won't find a SIM tray on here anywhere because it's a, it's, um, an eSIM, uh, don't panic, uh, it's quite easy to change over to an eSIM, uh, I've been using one on my phone for a while now and it's great. Um, you'll also get things like Wi-Fi 6E uh, connectivity for your Wi-Fi which is a faster, uh, more um, powerful uh, a connection with less interference um, and the Bluetooth, even the Bluetooth is Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5.3 which is the latest Bluetooth protocol uh, which means uh, you get better range, uh, less lag uh, so yeah, whatever you're um, connecting to uh, it's going to work better than ever and uh, thanks to that M2 chip uh, everything absolutely uh, whizzes along um, it means the graphics are, are great uh, you can play games, you can connect a, um, whatever controller you like via that Bluetooth. Um, so for example, PlayStation controller no problem and you know, control your games that way. Uh, so it's a great device for um, you know, streaming, for gaming and obviously for you know, productivity, generally good battery life too. Um, what about accessories? Well, uh, of course we've got your, your reasonably standard uh, folio case. Here, of course, uh, sort of soft on the outside and harder on, on, I mean, softer on the inside and harder on the outside. So if I just line that up properly, um, that just magnets into place, obviously. Um, you would have seen these sorts of cases before. Uh, the, they have um, just made a little bit of an update uh, to this case in that it um, connects at different angles. Uh, so depending on what your viewing preferences are, so for example, um, you know, you might want to stand your iPad up like that, or we can um, move it up a little bit further for, a, a, you know, a different angle if you're, you know, up above it. Um, so that just sort of magnets into place in those, in those different angles. And of course you can just lie it down like that, even if you're uh, drawing of it. Um, we'll come to drawing in a minute, but we'll just look at the other case, of course, which is my, one of my favorite accessories of all time, the Magic Keyboard. Um, so, yep, once again, it just magnets on like that, and then you've got this cool sort of floating screen above a keyboard uh, arrangement, and it basically becomes a laptop uh, with an M2 chip at that, at that point. And to be honest, that is how I, I've been using it for most of the time. Um, so you've got the USB-C connector here, of course, but once you um, plug that in, you've got another usb C port here as well so you can keep charging through that and then you can you know connect things through that uh, so that's pretty cool 
and uh, yeah, nice keyboard, nice trackpad. Um, I do find I the, these these cases they've got this kind of I don't know what you would call that, almost a rubbery outside thing, and it does seem to pick up a few sort of sticky, greasy smudges and things. But I guess that's why you use a case, right? So that you're not getting those greasy smudges off my disgusting fingers uh, on the actual iPad itself. Now, uh, well, there's one more important accessory to talk about, of course, this year, and that is the Apple Pencil Pro. Um, so this is the latest iteration of the uh, Apple Pencil, and it's not just for the iPad Pro, but it's for the iPad Air as well. Uh, so, yep, that's just uh, magnet, magnets on there, and now that's charging. Um, the charge seems to last a, whole, a long time. I struggle to get it down below 100%, but anyway. Uh, and it, you know, it sticks on there nice and firmly. Um, you can get different colored boxes. I don't know if you can choose those or whether that's just random. But anyway, um, and there are, of course, some uh, interesting features which you may have heard about uh, with the new Apple Pencil. So if I just uh, fire this up. Now, unfortunately, yeah, there's no face un unlock. Uh, on here, so we're, we're restricted to the fingerprint. Even though we've got that camera, you know, on this, we, we can't face unlock. You still got a fingerprint unlock. So maybe next year for that. Um, and I'll, if I just start the old uh, screen recorder here, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, the, the new Apple Pencil it's squeezable. So if we squeeze here, you'll see that it's uh, brought up the, a shortcut to the the tools menu here. And we can choose that tool, we can change the color, um, we can, if we click on it, we can change the size, and then uh, it, it does this cool thing now as well, uh, the Apple Pencil, it knows which way around you're holding it. And we can hover above the screen there, and you can see that if I tilt the pen, it's going to give me a little preview of how it's going to draw on the screen before I even start drawing. So it's a nice wide, and if I tilt it, you'll see we can sort of twist things around. And this is important, you know, when you're doing all your art apps, and if you're doing calligraphy and things like that, you need to be able to turn things around like that as well. So, yeah, that's called a barrel roll, apparently, doing that. So that's quite cool. So there's just a, a couple of little introductory features to do with the uh, the Apple Pencil Pro. Uh, we'll get into more of that uh, when I uh, do the iPad Pro uh, next week. But for now, uh, this is the iPad that I think most people will be perfectly happy with. Uh, starts at eleven nine nine, uh, yeah, just under twelve hundred dollars, and at that base model. Even there, you'll get 128 gig of storage, which I think is the bare minimum, to be honest, for a modern device these days, uh, with photos and videos um, taking up the space that they do. Uh, yeah, Apple have decided no, and we're not doing a 64 gig anymore uh, with these new devices. Uh, so that's uh, that's good news, and obviously you can upgrade to cellular and you know higher storage, um, you know after that. But um, yeah, I mean, I think just about everybody's going to be more than happy with the uh, the new iPad Air. Uh, it is, um, you know, probably the second best tablet uh, out there, and I might have the best tablet for you next week.